Here is an interesting method to visualize multiplication where we will be drawing sets of parallel lines that will represent each digit of the numbers that we will be multiplying. So we will not be using the traditional way of multiplying numbers. We call this method as line multiplication. The others, they call it as Japanese multiplication, Chinese or Vedic multiplication. Actually, the origin of this is unknown. Let's use the line multiplication in finding the product of 12 and 34. To begin with, let's start drawing diagonal lines. Let's start with a multiplicand using now the first digit. So let's draw lines here, draw diagonal lines. We will only draw one line because we have one um, digit number one here. And let's leave a little space for the second digit, which is two. All right, so we're going to use green color for the second digit, just to distinguish that this is for the uh, second digit. And now for the multiplier, we will be still drawing diagonal lines, but it will already be in the opposite direction. Let's start with three. Let's draw three lines and we will be using violet color for three. Since we're done with three, we will proceed to the second one. We have four. One, two, three, and four. So as we can see, we already have a rough diamond figure. Just to visualize how this works, let's look at the... Yeah. Let's look at the diamond figure here just to clearly show where are the points or the intersection points that we will be getting. So for the diamond figure, we will be getting the intersection of this line. Okay, so where is the intersection of these lines? On the right side, we have this corner. So same here, we will be getting this intersections. Next, on the left side, we will be getting the intersection of the lines or the points here. It will be on the left corner. And then next, for the middle number, we will be getting now this intersections, okay? we have this intersection. Now, let's count the number of points on the um, right corner. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's just write the numbers below the figure. So we have eight here, and then on the middle term or middle number, let's count again the intersection. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Instead of writing 10, we will just write zero. Oh, wait, I will just use black pen. We have zero and then carry one for the next number. Next number of intersections, we have one, two, and then three. But then we know that we have a carried number here. So three plus one, it will become four. Thus, we can now say that the product of 12 and 34 is 408. Okay, this is how the line multiplication works. Let's proceed to the second example. We have 52 times 13. Again, same process. Let's draw five lines here. I will just use a blue color. We have one, two, three, four, 
and five. So it should be diagonal lines. Let's leave a little space for the second lines. We have two. Next, we have one and two. For the second number, we will still draw diagonal lines, but it will already be in the opposite direction. So we'll be using red. Okay, we'll be using red lines here. We have one. And then next for the second number, we have three. So let's use violet. We have one, two, and three. Now we are left with rough diamond figure. Let's distinguish now the, inter the, the intersection points that we will be counting. For the left corner, uh, for the right corner, we will be using this. We have now the middle. And then for the left corner, we will be getting this intersection. Let's start counting. We have one, two, three, four, and five, six. Right, so we have six here. And for the middle number, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. So let's write seven and then carry one for the left corner. Let's count the intersection, uh, the, the points here. We have one, two, three, four and five plus one so we have six oh we have six therefore the answer here is 676 all right how about if we're given three by two uh three by three numbers or digits it's actually same process we're going to draw lines here can I just use one color for the line? We have one. So let's draw one here. And then for the second digit, we have two. One, two. And then for the third, we have one, two, And three. And then we have now the next number. So I will just use blue color for the opposite diagonal lines. We'll start with two. Let's draw two lines here one and two. Next, we have three, one, two and three. Well, we'll just fix this. All right. And for the last one, we have one. All right. So what will be the intersection that we will be considering? So for the right corner, we will be getting this as the intersection. And for this, we will be getting this. We have now three intersections here. We have two intersections on the left side, and then we have now the left corner. So if you notice, there is a pattern. So we have one, we have two, we have three, we have two, and we have one there. Okay, let's count now the points. We have one, two, three. Next, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, including this, 10, 11. So we have one and then we will carry one here. Let's count for the middle. 
part, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. But then we have this 1 here. It will become 14 and carry 1 again. Counting now the points, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right. Plus 1, it will become 8. Next, last, we have 1 and 2 as the intersection. Therefore, we can now say that the product of 1, 2, 3 and 2, 3, 1 is 28,430. Okay, that's how the three by three digit number works for this line multiplication. Okay, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.